hope you're enjoying this gorgeous holiday lookbook. Please stay tuned until the end to take a look at the Happiest Places Home top picks from this video.
Pottery Barn really knows how to do Christmas, don't they? I wanted to share some of my favorite things from this lookbook. And they don't necessarily work together in a color palette or in my palette. I just thought they were really pretty and I thought it would be fun to go over them. I always think holiday villages are just so precious and this one is exceptional. I think it could work really well in the type of decor that a lot of people have right now, which is just natural shades and you can see it that way on this mantle. But it also could work with a colorful, fun palette. I just like that it's something that would probably last you a lifetime and you could pass it on to your children or whomever. Here is the quilt that my holiday dreams are made of. I just think this looks like something that would be in a quaint little bed and breakfast or in a cabin that you rent for the holidays. It just has all of those cozy feelings. So that's why it's my favorite. I won't be buying it because it doesn't go with my decor, but I can, I can love it anyway. This dainty silver star garland is really wonderful. You could use it in a few different ways. It could be a minimalist look, just having that on a mantle. It would look like a little piece of simple jewelry on the mantle, or you can kind of do the over-the-top style, draping it on top of or behind the stockings the way that it's shown here. Pottery Barn partners with the St. Jude Charity for an item at the holidays every year. And this one is really cute. Last year it was a bell that was gold. And if you did purchase that one, this one would look adorable with it. But I think buying the set is very charitable and also they would just look very pretty together. The St. Jude candle is pine scented. Now take a look at this bowl candle. It is called an antiqued wreath and it looks gold in some pictures but it is silver and just like the star garland i think you could work this into a lot of different decor types and it smells of berries but they also put wood in there and cinnamon i bet it's a wonderful combo i haven't had a chance to smell it in person but how gorgeous my next favorite is a little more whimsical. This is a condiment tray, and I like the way that it's being used here. It seems like the perfect thing to pull out when you have an unexpected visitor at the holidays, and you can put an assortment of your Christmas cookies on there. Um, or, you know, a charcuterie, I don't know. It's just so cute, and I also think it would make a really nice hostess gift. So check out this Lux dog pillow with antlers. I just thought it was kind of silly and fun, but I like it personally because it looks like my first dog, Gemma. You saw my last video, you might realize that I have a penchant for plaid. I don't think there's that much to say about this tray. I just love it. I love the stork plaid. It's really cool that it can be monogrammed, and I think this would make a great gift as well. Well, I wanna thank you for tuning in to this lookbook. There will be a lot more exciting things about Pottery Barn to come and an announcement about Pottery Barn in my next video. So thank you for watching. I hope you have the happiest holidays yet and make a comment and let me know what your favorite item was in the Pottery Barn lookbook.